The Warren County Emergency Management Agency is calling this a historic backwater flood. And as waters continue to rise, county officials say they've increased patrols monitoring areas where evacuations were ordered. Uh, essentially everything west of Highway 61 is in some way affected by this flood, either from the riverside or the backwater side. Warren County emergency management officials tally 26 roads closed due to flooding. They say some roadways are completely underwater, like Highway 465. This is actually river flooding that we're looking at now. We're at the intersection of Highway 465 and Highway 61, and this is water directly off of the Yazoo River. And less than a mile north, crossing the Yazoo backwater levee, roads in the neighborhoods they lead to are covered with water from the Mississippi Delta that has nowhere to drain. Emergency officials say this backwater flooding is what's causing problems for many in the county. We have to find a place to stay. I mean, half of us don't have a place to stay. Half of us stand in our car. Ford subdivision, Chickasaw subdivision, the Long Lake area, all of these areas have people that have had to move out of their homes. The flowery area. The sheriff says the water has not been this high in these areas since the 70s. It's caused the County Board of Supervisors to order mandatory evacuations for those living in the Eagle Lake community. For some people, if they want to leave, I think they should be able to leave. But if they don't want to leave and stay and protect their investments here, then they should be able to stay and protect their investments. And as more and more roads and subdivisions go under, officials are urging people to stay out of those affected areas. People that own property that live in these areas are suffering enough from this. They don't need uh, sightseeing tours through these flooded areas. Officials say Warren County deputies will continue to patrol the Eagle Lake community around the clock. Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News.